In this episode, we pick up where we left off making a circuit board for Steady Shotbot from scratch using Circuit IO and Flat Cam. Wow. Hey guys, let's talk about electronics. Uh, last week we talked about Steady Shotbot and we looked inside here and we saw all the electronic components that make it happen, make it work. Got a screen, got the processor, got battery, some drive systems and all that good stuff, right? So we're talking about making the new electronics board for the new enclosure. Originally it looks something like this, right? This is a breadboard and it's got a bunch of components on here. Each of these components are pieces to the, the full processor. Um, and obviously this the spread board allows you to just plug in wires plug in components and you can play around with it until you get it to what you want the circuit to be um, but because it's fragile and the wires are just plug and play sort of thing um, they come out easy it's not something you'd want to use for a final prototype um, but it is something you can test and play around with your components once I've got a working uh, circuit and it does what I expect it to do then I take it over to the computer and use a software development tool for designing the circuit so there's several open source circuit design software applications I think DigiKey makes one DigiKey also sells the components so um, you can design a circuit and order the components all through their interface uh, Fritzing is another one. There's uh, I use circuits.io because it's just easier to use and for my purposes that's all I need. Uh, circuits.io at the end uh, when you finish your circuit you can order them uh, direct directly through the website and it's like thirty dollars for three small boards and it takes about ten days though and thirty and ten dollars a board is a little pricey. Um, so Generally, I'll, if I'm doing a quick prototype and I want it in 45 minutes, I'll just mill it out on the Nomad. And today we're going to walk through that process so I can show you what it looks like to design the circuit online and then how to get those Gerber files. The Gerber files just the computer representation of the manufacturing codes to create what you've designed. And then uh, we'll manipulate some of those files and create the uh, tool paths that we need to tell the Nomad to do what it needs to do to etch the board. Right? So it's really cool, save some money, and you can do it in about 30 minutes. And we'll walk through that process. So come on. Hey guys, today we're gonna use circuits.io to generate our schematic and our PC board layout and in order to download the Gerber and then uh, generate the circuit board locally on the Nomad. Um, so, but first, uh, circuits.io is really easy to use. All you have to do is pull in the components that you wanna use, you add them to your schematic, you connect the wires necessary, you flip over into PCB mode, and then you can uh, run the traces how you see fit. Um, it's got some dynamic reference points which kinda help you out during that process and you change the thickness of the lines that you've, you're drawing on the circuit board. In addition to that, you can uh, identify the specific pads and footprints of each of the components. You can uh, drill additional holes and you can uh, shape the circuit board however you see fit. Um, it's very flexible, it's easy to use. We're going to run through that process for the uh, Steady Shot Bot circuit board and see if we can't finish that up quick. Once you have the circuit board completed on circuits.io, you can just go to your project section and download the Gerber. The Gerber is really a zip file that includes all of the files necessary to manufacture your circuit board, including Exelon files to drill the holes, silkscreen layers, as well as the traces and the solder mask and things like that. Um, we're going to use the traces and the holes uh, layers of the Gerber file uh, to generate those on our Nomad. Uh, so, but first we'll need to download the file from circuits.io, extract those, load them up into flat cam, and generate the toolpath. So now that we have the toolpaths generated from flat cam, we can take those over to the Nomad and actually run them on our circuit board. It's important to note that there are three steps. We're going to be drilling the holes, we're going to be carving out the traces, and then we're going to be cutting out the circuit board. 
It's important that we drill the holes before we carve out the traces. So let's take these over to the machine and get going. Before we start milling, let's talk about the bits I'll be using. So for carving out the circuit board, the traces, we're using a .015 two flute stub nose, Alton coated flat end mill from Kodiak Cutting Tools. For drilling the holes, I've got a .036 end mill. I recommend going to Drill Bits Unlimited. You can get these nice sets of micro drill bits um, that are made for CNC. Um, a set of 100 maybe cost you $80. You'll have every size you ever need. Um, these are made for circuit boards and whatnot. Um, so this is a .036 and this is a .1. This is for the mount and then this is for all of the pilot holes for the pins. So once we drilled the holes, milled the traces, and then we're cutting out the board, we'll use the 8th inch two flute flat end mill that's installed here. Uh, and that will cut out our board. Um, aside from that, I think we're good to go. We're gonna put some copper down on this waste board and start milling. All right, so once we got the circuit board done, we'll just wanna file off the little stubs where uh, they were connected onto the rest of the board and then once you get that clean up the rest is all good to go. Uh, generally once you get those tabs worn off I'll hit it with a 220 or finer grit uh, sandpaper just to remove any burrs uh, very very lightly just the weight of the board is rubbing on this and you obviously don't want to do it much because um, the layer of copper is very thin depending on your manufacturer and the quality of the board. Um, you, you might rub right through it. Um, so, so once we have that, we have a nice clean circuit board. So let's get some close-ups to this and we'll talk to you later. So for now we're going to finish with this. Um, with the Nomad 883 and the right software you can make some great circuit boards right at home. The next steps for this will be getting a solder mask on it and then soldering the components. So until next time, stay safe and have fun. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.